What's interesting is that the people who developed this technology, who made it all possible, didn't see this use. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> the classic mistake in network theory is to overemphasize access to electronic resources and to underemphasize access to human resources. Consistently, it's happened with the rise of the internet itself. It happened with the rise of the web. People have thought, oh, well, you'll be able to get access to information and databases and so forth. They built the original internet around those principles, and it didn't actually get used very much. But when they ported email over from another system, email became 75% of the internet's traffic within three months of its introduction. So we have consistently overemphasized access to information and consistently underemphasized access to each other. And it was the access to each other part that the insurgents, and we can now say the revolutionaries, used so beautifully in the Middle East and North Africa. The desire to connect. The desire exactly. to connect is what it's all about. To be synchronized, to have this group of people who, you know, not only care about and want the same rough political goals wherever they disagree, but are willing to turn out in the streets for each other. That picture from Tahrir Square of the Coptic Christians holding hands at Friday prayers around the Muslims so that the Egyptian state wouldn't attack. It's just, just the most extraordinary thing. And that was real world protest by people who turned out into the streets. But the precursor was those people getting to know each other and coming to trust each other. And some of that had been built up, you know, using, using these social tools to just build up the kind of trust that it was going to take for people to actually risk their lives for one another. 